Today we're going to be doing a homemade versus homemade submarine challenge. This might be the stupidest thing we have ever done. I would say. That does the whip you do and that pulls us. He's got air. <laughs> That is right, ladies and gentlemen, the homemade submarine challenge is back. And you guys love the last one we did so much, we decided to bring it back. However, this time we have special guest Brenton. <clears throat> well, to be honest with you guys, I have zero submarine experience. That's, that's it. it, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's the rules for the submarine build they have to complete three different challenges, you can win a total of three points. Submerge the submarine, breathe out of the submarine, drive the submarine. And style points. Okay, we'll throw a point in for style. I kind of like that. Okay, three and a half points. Completely aware this is not my channel, but if this video gets 10,000 likes, Brandon and I will come together as a team and build our own fully capable functional submarine, no budget submarine, just a really nice submarine that we're gonna stay under the water in for 48 hours. Okay, that's a little excessive. But I do like it. 10,000 likes, we will team up. My nautical skills and his oh a very average man skills to make a wonderful <laughs> submarine. 10,000 likes will make it happen. We'll see you at the old Home Depot. Give me the Home Depot beat. Ladies and gentlemen, first things first, we gotta build these. Also, the Nautical Bros, they're back. They're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, they have arrived. How this is gonna work is each UEP, or Underwater Experimental Pilot, <laughs> whatever it is, gets one Nautical Bro, and on this coin is gonna determine the team. So are you head or tails? Head. So you're gonna be tails. Yeah. You're gonna call it in the air. Oh, okay, you already know what I'm calling. Three, two, one. Head, baby. What is that? That's tails. Oh, wait. Is that head? So wait. Nobody knows what's on the quarter anymore? <laughs> I haven't used a quarter in a long exactly. time. <laughs> this, is double, this is actually a double-headed quarter. Technically, this is Tails. Who is Tails? I'm the Okay, ass. so you get him technically, I think. I don't know why you even had to call him because you're going to get... Which, that well, didn't I, make that sense. did not work at all. No, nope, but... Wait, you it was, the coin, so was it for you? No, but it was Cammy call. I called head. All right, well, he's got Corey. Yeah, right? baby. <laughs> he's BJ, and I'm Brandon Jordan, so Team BJ! Team BJ. Okay, Team BJ, yeah. we're coming in hot. What are you guys? It's a little weird. Um, team Hugs? What is this, dude? It could be like Team Dilaphodil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's pretty good. Okay, all right. <laughs> team, team Hugs versus Team Dilaphodil. Let's go into Home Depot. There is, by the way, no budget. This is a budgetless challenge, so it's all up to the buyer and the team to decide what all products they're gonna get. You can get as crazy or as minimal as possible, but it has to be a submarine, and it's gonna be epic. Dude, all I'm saying is I would fit in that. We're getting a, we're brainstorming. Yeah. I like it. I'm not seeing it. No, I'm not, I'm not seeing, seeing the vision here. Hear me out. Arm protectors, so you can reach out and grab the jet propulsion. I like it. Okay. All right. Um, perfect. So inspiration from this design here, which is uh, from a band, but yeah, it looks like a underwater yeah. submarine astronaut. Robot. I'm liking it. So we're thinking body here, arms, legs, and then I have holes cut out of the side, so I can use that to grab our propulsion system. So we've got the body, we've got the extremities. We've got ideas, but now we need a clear, I would like a dome, like a clear dome. Helmet. Definitely I would works. fit. Yeah, I would fit. The only problem I perceive with that is one, it has a hole in the top, yep. which is fine. We can seal that. The other problem, raw thin glass will be around my neck in the event that that thing shatters. <laughs> completely done, dude. Yeah, but better in plastic in every way. You'll be able to see better. I would be able to see better, but I don't know if I would survive if it crushes, dude. Oh, it's very yeah. thin. Figure out which one fits better. I think this one seems more clear. Oh, you guys are already in the trailer. Oh yeah, we're ready. How much did you spend? A hundred. A hundred bucks? Yeah. 
This kid is good at being minimal, dude. <laughs> He's really good. They bought a two by four. They bought two cans of spray paint. We got the body. We got the arms. And this right here is gonna be the head. We're going space astronaut theme. I think we go galaxy. Galaxy. Purples, yep. blues, pinks, white stars. I'm gonna go on a little bit of a whim here and I'm, I'm just gonna get us a gold. I'm not sure for what, but it's like a satellite. satellite a gold yeah. satellite, I don't know, man. I like it, maybe a star or something, it could be cool. Oh, oh, we lost our arms. We lost our, our arms are down, arms are down. All right. We blew the budget, but I think we're gonna have a really cool submarine. Welcome to former Nautical Bro headquarters and current Nautical Bro venture, the Scale Nation RC Hobby Shop and Racetrack. This place is absolutely insane. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, where are the Nautical Bros? What are they doing? How have they been? Well, they have been going on a crazy business venture. You guys remember where we built all the boats back here? They're going on a new business venture right now, which is very cool. And they're like taking over the RC world. So it's very, very cool to watch, but we called them in for a favor to do the submarine battle. A lot of you guys in the comments have been asking what they've been up to. And I just wanted to finally give you guys some answers. They have been doing their thing. We've been doing our thing. There's no bad blood, but we're taking the time today to team back up to complete another epic build which hopefully turns out well. And the only way we get it done is inside that shot. Let's get it. We're getting ready to start the build, but we wanted to add some additional wild cards to help the submarines go from just like a homemade build to like actually functioning with real gear. So we've got three things. Each team gets an entire filled scuba tank. This holds a ton of air up to 4,000 PSI. Each team gets its own propulsion system, which is, well, one of these terrible scooters, but it does work. And each team in the event of an emergency gets a spare air, which is a small breathable tank. It should give you about 20 breaths, just in case something catastrophic happens. That would not surprise me, I'm glad we have these. Yeah, so this is just a life-saving device. So you can elect to use any and all of these, or you can use none of these, but these are gonna be free items that we're allowing to be wild cards for the build. Good, good gander at that. A lot of just complicated stuff happening here, but very like advanced. We also have a drawing, BJ Shum. Very simple, very simple and easy comparative to this. So, <laughs> what are you doing? Still in your plans? We're just. You our plans? Just. They're, they're what the? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> hey, 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 get out of here. Son of a. <laughs> Yep, I'm gonna die in this. <laughs> this I'm not gonna survive this. This is crazy. This is actually absurd. Brandon, how are you gonna move? <laughs> what is the plan here? I can't hear you. Oh my I, God. I literally can't hear anything in this here. This is the most absurd. I, 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 you know what? You keep cooking. What? You keep cooking. What? You keep cooking. Head piece is complete. Let's work on the lower half. So far, the other team has a, a wooden square, so I think we're doing good. Shut up! It looks good though, it's a good square. It's a kind of a rectangle, it's very good. Thank you, Brandon. Very good rectangle. I don't think I can pick anything you can do it. Yeah, let me get in it. Not that I was on the Weather Channel or anything, but uh... Behind me, we have a slight chance of freaking hurricane thunderstorm. So we've got our galaxy in a bucket here. We're gonna shake this up and we're just gonna give her a rip. So it's probably gonna be a terrible paint job, but that's what a galaxy is. It's a controlled mass of chaos and burning gas millions of miles away. You like that definition? I just kind of made up that on the spot. All right, let's go. Dude, that looks wicked, dude. This is probably supposed to be finishing touches, but let's see what a little shooting star looks like. Huh? I learned this in my street art days. You're gonna have to get paint coming out of it first. No. Oh, that's cheating. I want to make a note for the record. They're going to get more supplies, and that is clearly against the rules. That's cheating. All right. What do you think it needs, man? 
I love that truck so much. All right, what do you think? Uh, maybe a touch of white here in there? Touch of white. Yeah. That looks like... That doesn't look like the galaxy at all. <laughs> Good job! Good job! Ladies and gentlemen, it is competition day. It is the test for the submarine, first submarine underwater battle. And introducing first behind this door is my competition. And they've elected to name themselves Team, Team Daffodil. Very strange. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. What are you, oh, whoa, whoa, dude. You got a nitrous kit there? <laughs> Now everybody, welcome to the winning team. Oh, really? The winning team. We got functionality all across the okay. board. Okay, okay. We, we got the turret that does the whippity do and that pulls us. He's got air. <laughs> we have our buoyancy control, which is car batteries. Oh my goodness. And then our safety net, the big ball. First off, she, sit, she sinks. Okay, that's good. I think. Uh, second off, she also floats. So she combats her thinking problem. <laughs> what? Um, she also has full power. Oh, look at that. That's nice. And on a turret, dude. That is dude, completely swivel mount. I love that. And then when the water comes up in here and I'm like, uh-uh, go away. All you do is hit the one, two. Oh, dude. <laughs> Beautiful job. I actually am a little bit nervous about this thing. I feel like we may or may not have forgot a couple of functionality points. Uh, it's very freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. All right, good job. All right. Thank you, sir. Good job, boys. Thank you. Wonderful job. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing my competition, Daddy Gigolo. Come on, baby. Oh, what the? I'm telling you, man, when we built this thing, listen, we thought it was going to be the most epic spacesuit of all time. Look at me, dude. Look at me. <laughs> There's nothing cool about it. It's not okay. No. Oh, oh God. God. Hold on, I can't stand up. No, I got help you. Help me stand up. I got you. Please help me stand up. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the name? Uh, well, originally the name was going to be the spacesuit. So instead of a full submarine builds we decided submarine suit based off a very cool piece of art that bj showed me however after design we have elected to name it the space pig now you may be wondering brandon jay why would you call it the space pig well ironically after we built it we knocked it over and it looks just like a pig baby it literally looks like a pig from outer space and now is the time you guys have been waiting for time to water test my submarine. I've ever done in my entire life. Dude. I felt like I didn't know anything about submarines before. I feel like I could teach a class now. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. 
it probably looked really cool from your vision. But for mine with the Nauticam on the side, dude, you look like an underwater motorcycle. Bro, I was just sitting there <laughs> driving around, dude. I took my goggles off because I was so comfortable that I was like, I'm just breathing. I would get out, look at my, my spaceship, and then hop right back in and start breathing and driving around dude, again. Dude, it was fast, too. I was I, moving. Look, I have my little fins on. I brought my little fins today because I was like, there's no way these little jet, you know, things are going to be quick. Bro, you were like, through the water. Bro, I was, it was the <laughs> coolest thing I've ever done. Like, that was so sick. I'm so excited to see the space pit. Me, well, I'm not. <laughs> so, but I will say, what I love is one, that worked. Two, that was $100. That's a $100, $100 submarine. Dollar submarine, dude. And it worked, It worked, bro. baby. It worked just so good. Like, that was flawless. Yes. I, I never had water get past my, like, I was breathing with no issues. Yes. So, uh, now it is time for me to go, but Brinton, I think you got all three points. You got your underwater submersion complete. Yep. Drivability, like Impeccable. A plus plus. Yep. And then you also were able to breathe like A plus plus plus. Dude, underwater. it was insane. Like normally you get foggy air in there, but there was so much air spewing into that thing. It was that crystal clear. It was crystal and I was clear. Chilling. It was awesome. So Brinton passed with flying colors. I think he even gets the half a point for just like the looks of it. Um Three and a half points for Brenton. Very well done, my friend. Thank I, you, sir. Thank I mean, you. wonderful job. I'll give it to you there. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Space <laughs> that Space Big. The space Big. <laughs> it's not cool, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Space Pig. I have elected to use my spare air in the event that I'm unable to breathe. However, both of my hands are in the tube right now. And when my hands are out of the tube, I cannot grab my spare air. So I will be keeping the spare air in my mouth. With that being said, I'm gonna get on into the water first. And then once I'm comfortable, I will have BJ grab my propulsion unit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let the science begin. It looks like you have no pants on. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. You see, I'm only superhuman. Levitate and go into the moon, man. Blast off. Blast off. Yeah. You see, my true plan. Spread and joy, feeling new, yeah. Showing up with my pants. Bam. Bam. Look at that. Watch me get it live. pig uh ladies and gentlemen uh i think i lost <laughs> i think you i lost with flying colors i think i lost yeah yep. there you go yep. all right well uh <laughs> drivability yes yeah you were moving underwater completely yes, yes. breathability <laughs> No! I elected to use my emergency bottle for the entire time. Not emergency event, it still used the bottle. Uh, listen, you won. C -c Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank Wonderful you. job. Astronaut pig. Uh, low key, kind of terrible. Not gonna lie, but you guys went super hard. I spent three times the budget that Brinson spent. Uh -huh. So it's not about the budget, it's about the brains. And unfortunately, you have none. I have, yeah, dude, I don't got nothing, dude. <laughs> my my brain's lost in outer space with the space It looks thing. cool, though. I will say, 
underwater, it was hilarious. I saw some of the underwater footage. Hilarious, but yeah. yours is awesome. And with that, brother, Thank I you say sir. you win. Thank the you. The submarine homemade challenge. challenge. Only if you knew what that was like. Well, I think there's only one way to end this, but I will make a deal with you guys. I know we said 10,000 likes, Brenton and I will team up, but if we get 1,000 comments in the comment section, if you guys have made it this far, you're dedicated viewers, if we get 1,000 comments, then Brenton and I will not only team up, but we will go head to head with the Nautical Bros in a homemade submarine budgetless challenge. We'll completely separate. We won't know what they're doing. They won't know what we're doing. We'll meet at the lake and we'll duel it out submarine style. If you want to see that, 1,000 comments. Let's do a victory lap in Brenton's. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. All right, give me a kiss. Okay, all right, let's go. Yeah. Let's go see what real submarining is like, brother. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Insane being in here. So proud of Brenton and Corey. A hundred dollar submarine and it works. This is absolutely epic. I'm gonna get on out of here, but that is so cool, man. Congrats to them, they won fair and square. That is awesome. <laughs>